Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we're looking at the Canary Wood and Purple Heart framed Valhalla screen from Dogmite Games. So first of all we just want to say a massive thanks to Dogmite for sending us this GM screen uh, to unbox on the channel. So I'm a fan of role playing games and I very much enjoy DMing. However, one of the things that you'll quickly find that you need as a dungeon master is a GM screen is always really handy to not only conceal your roles but also to attach all your various stats to, hide your notes behind, put any important information on and have a cool nice visual kind of backdrop for the players to see as well. So Dogmite reached out and asked if we'd be able to take a look at their Valhalla screen which is a, fair to say, a premium GM screen uh, made of natural wood, really really pretty looking compared to some of the you know the, the card ones that you can get for generic systems. The cool thing with this it is very modular so it goes together with magnets you can change out various uh, leaves and stuff in it we'll take a look at that in a minute. So in this video what we're going to do is unbox it, take a look at it, get it all set up and see um, you know what you can do with it, what all the features are and ultimately if it's worth your money. So let's crack open this box and have a look what is inside. So big hefty box that came in, very very heavy. If we move all this out of the way and we'll take the various components out. So we have got some magnetic balls and some transparent sheets that we can use as uh, initiative trackers. We'll see in a little bit. We also have the screen itself. This is super heavy, so let's get this out. Just move the box out of the way. So, we have got all sorts in here. So first of all, we've got some metal rods. These make up the, I guess, connection points between the different panels of wood in here. So there's magnets fitted around the side of this. They'll connect to these to make a solid kind of structure. Let's get them to one side for now. We also get some more transparent sheets. Again, with magnets on them, so they can attach to the back of these tiles. But let's get to the start of the show. So it's really, really nice finish on this. I want to be careful taking it out of here. So, essentially, this is made up of a number of different panels. Again, made from big, thick, heavy wood. Let's just take this out of here carefully. And the final one. Let's move all this out the way and take a look at these screens. So, if you can't be here for me picking this up, these are hefty, hefty pieces. Very, very nice. Nice kind of thick wood to them. And basically what these do is go together to make a GM screen. We've got magnets on the side of them, which then attach to these magnetic poles. And then as we get the other screws in, they'll all lock together to make our screen. So really, really nice premium finish to this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just move the camera and we'll have a proper look at what these look like. And here it is assembled on the table. And I've got to say, it has got a nice weighty feel to it. So just for, you know, knowing all the facts of this, this is a more expensive premium kind of frame. So we're talking a couple of hundred dollars for this, but it is made from, you know, real wood. It's very chunky and sturdy. Now obviously that's a lot more than the kind of card trifold ones that you get in starter packs or the, you know, 10 to 20 pound ones that you can get separately. The advantage of this one is, again, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So if you're, you know, maybe a GM who, who likes to run sessions where everybody kind of gets involved and gets the feel of it, this goes very nicely with, with the setting. If you want to do something a bit more elaborate, again, if you're a streamer or something, and want to have a bit of a, a slicker presentation, this looks very, very pretty. 
it's really nice for running multiple games as well. So say if you're a, a, a DM that maybe runs, I don't know, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay on a Monday and you run Dungeons Dragons on a Wednesday and want to be able to use the same screen for everything, the, the, the real selling point of this one is the, the interchangeable frames on the front. So this thing is covered in magnets. These frames at the front, they'll pop off. You've got magnets there, and then you can swap out the artwork, you can swap out the maps, so say if in your game you wanted to display the other map here, you can pop it on, just reattach the magnets, and then on the fly you can do that. So if you have any, you know, pictures of monsters that you're fighting or environments that you want to show, you can put them on the frame, it'll look really, really nice. Really, really slick setup. Again, if you wanted to have any stats on there, for example, you can just pop them out. And again, because it isn't tied to one game as well, you know, often you just get artwork on the front of them. This, for me, is really cool because I like showing those maps. I like showing those images of monsters. And rather than having to use clips or anything, those magnetic fronts are just so easy to swap out. You'll notice as well, I don't know if you can see very well on the camera, at the very top, we've got some Perspex um, kind of tiles, and there's like a, a kind of a runner all the way down this. Now you can use these for tracking initiative, for example. So once something's fought, you can move it over to the other one, so you, everybody can see kind of what the initiative order is. It's a small thing, but it's a really nice thing that adds, again, to the, the I guess, the different things that you can do with this. Like, I don't know, if you weren't using this for initiative, you might be able to use that to track something else within your game. Maybe, you know, clues that you've found. You can lock over here so the party can see what they've done. Really, really nice. And again, you could probably have cards in there as well if you wanted to have stats visible to the players. Speaking of stats, the reverse of the board is really nice too. If we spin this round, you can see that the theme of lots and lots of magnets continues here. All these ball bearings attached to, um, if we take this one off here, magnets that are embedded in the wood. So you can use those to attach stat cards, uh, you know, notes, paper that you've got. In this example here, I've put this little player hand out there just to store it until I pass it to the players. You also get two of these like perspex screens. Again, they're magnetized on. So you can take those off, use a dry white marker, to put your notes onto here and then reattach it to the screen and with that you'll be able to store your notes erase them between games use it for just jotting down important information i think that's really really cool too uh, dog might also do sell um, a couple of different accessories that kind of attach to this board too like dice trays and different holders and stuff so again really really like that and um, there's nothing to stop you perhaps flipping one of these over so if we take that off there, take that off there, and then spin this the other way, you could then have those stats visible on the other side for your players if you wanted them, while you kind of prep another screen here. So it is very modular, and the way it goes together with these bars makes it really easy to use too. It all kind of holds together, you know, really sturdy once it's on there. So yeah, really, really nice screen. Um, like I say, it's a little bit on the pricey side, so it is very much, uh, I, I guess I think for serious games, ma games masters, you know, if, if you're running games regularly, if you want something that's a bit slicker, it is very, very pretty and very, very sturdy. And again, it looks gorgeous on the table and that's the main selling point. Now really to review this properly, I'm gonna need a little time to have a play with it. I'm gonna run a few games with it, see how it gets on and see really how it compares in a, you know, a real life situation to other kind of standard fold out screens. You know, it's all right and well, you know, while saying, oh yeah, this is really cool, load of cool features, but it's how useful those features are in actual games. So I wanted to put out this as like an unboxing and first impressions videos. And first impressions, it is absolutely gorgeous and really, really nice. But I want to give it a bit of a, a run through on a couple of sessions and see how it holds up in day to day use. So over on sprueandbrews.com, and I'll probably do a video as well. I'll have a follow-up article where I go into kind of how this thing, uh, kind of put it through its paces in some games, see how it performs, how it holds up, and you know, what advantages there are to using this over a standard DM screen. Um, it is absolutely beautiful, and it is very, very sturdy. 
I would be maybe a little scared of getting this thing damaged. So again, we'll see how it gets through a couple of sessions of D&D and I'll report back with my views. But again, thanks again to Dog Mike for sending this over. Um, check out the website soon for the full kind of like review once we've had a proper play with it. But I just want to get this video out to show what it looks like and yeah, have a look at the gorgeous screen. So until next time, have a great time and we'll see you soon.